Now to a Florida murder trial that started over someone using his cell phone in a movie theater. The defense begins opening arguments today for Curtis Reeves, who shot a man during a screening of Lone Survivor eight years ago. Ileana Diaz recaps the chain of events and what Reeves' lawyer plans to argue today. Ileana. Morning, Ruta Bay. Witnesses testified that they heard Olson explaining to Reeves that he was only using his cell phone to text the babysitter. Now, again, today there are going to be some questions about exactly what happened when the defense puts their own witnesses on the stand. And as of now, they say Reeves only opened fire out of self defense. Retired Tampa Police Captain Curtis Reeves is on trial for the 2014 shooting death of 43 year old Chad Olson. The two men had been arguing over Olson's use of a cell phone in the movie theater when Olson threw popcorn in Reeves' face. That's when witnesses say Reeves pulled out a handgun and opened fire, killing Olson and hitting Olson's wife, Nicole Olson, in the hand. Defense attorneys claim Reeves felt threatened by Olson and fired in self defense. In 2017, a judge ruled that the stand your ground law was not applicable here, so this case is now on trial. Olson's wife took the stand this week and said it was Reeves who threatened her husband. It was just rude. It was demanding. It was like it was an order. It wasn't, you know, excuse me or would you mind or an explanation that, you know, the light is distracting. It was just very matter of fact, you need to do this. Then witness after witness testified to a similar story, explaining there was a quick argument between Reeves and Olson, and within seconds, Reeves opened fire, none of them describing Olson as the aggressor. Defense attorneys also argue detectives only interviewed Reeves on the scene for less than one minute before making the arrest. After hearing the state's witnesses testify, the defense asked for an immediate acquittal, but the judge denied it. Now, the judge did deny that acquittal and said that too many of the witnesses contradicted the story that Reeves explained to the judge. We are going to be hearing from the defense in just a few hours. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.